Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Got some more Persona 5 Royal. Uh, so last time, Akechi revealed to us that he was a Persona user. Who would have seen that coming? Hee <laughs> hee. Looks like we managed to avoid the worst possible situation. Eh, kind of. Kind of. Sorry. Also, Sojiro found out that we're a fan of these. All this happened because I kept the calling card. It's kind of, That was kind of silly. Mm, shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? What do you mean? Why do I have to sleep on the bed? Or why do I have to sleep on the sofa? See ya, Futaba. Also, um, my my beheaded Jack Frost doll came today. So it seems very appropriate to stare at this one we have in game, too. That took its sweet time to get here. Let's go to bed. Yeah, so we're going to be going into Sai's Palace soon, um, which is actually probably like my second favorite in the game. It's a really good that one. concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, If I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. You big softy. Oops, sorry. I'm skipping through the bullshits. Yeah, Sojiro is hey, such a good great. character. I love Sojiro. Good old Sojiro. Can't believe how big the bounty is. Ketchy suggested they go to this school, right? Yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. Probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man. Just let me dream a little. 30 million yen, that's about $300,000. Uh, well, not in current currency, but... It's a pretty, pretty big amount of money. Does that seem cheap to anybody, though? I feel like in the US, whenever you... Whenever there's bounties and stuff, it's always like five million dollars. And that could just be me watching too many movies, too. I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. Let us discuss. And let us have a catchy join us so I can continue his social link. We're wanted now. And the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejet. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashida too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. 
There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey, what do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? <laughs> Story in this game is so bad sometimes. I mean, like, uh, there's no reason to be overreacting like this. Like, why would- I, I don't- I don't want to even say any of these. Because that's not how I feel about it. Probably because we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah, that really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto. Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power, or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. What a bunch of pussies. What should we do? What a bunch of pussies. Give me give me the royal trio. I've had, I've had enough of this phantom thief crap. Yeah. Running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this. Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty, it all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I'm sorry. Really? Uh, that's good. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. I guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. Found a masquerade. Got a message from Akechikun. He wants us to gather Leblanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. You guys gotta stop being such pussies. 
Let's go about this calmly. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Once we get inside Sai's palace, the game will become fun again. Okay. I mean, it's fun now. I just <laughs> this story arc is so stupid. I have something. Hey. It's like, why do you play this if um, <laughs> for what exactly? I catch you tomorrow. Oh, I see. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we should spend some time playing a game. Can we go outside? Nope. I have something. Nope. Hey. We have to think about tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's play a video game then. Let us play a video game. What do you guys think about the story? Like, obviously I'm not a big fan of this segment, but it, it definitely gets better. Like, the Sae arc is pretty good. We're kind of not really in that yet, though. We're kind of like, we're kind of still in the Okumura thing, kind of. Let's see, Golfer, Salutahiko. Kind of tempted to try one of these for fun. What if we did the boxing game? Sure. How does a boxing game make you charming? Is this a gym? Oh, there's a weird old guy standing over there. Hey, you feel I'll be responsible for training you today. Listen closely to what I gotta tell you. We'll start today by reviewing the basics. I see. First up is Sway. You'll need to predict your opponent's attacks and dodge him. Now sway around my attack and then smack me with a counter punch. Here we go. Uh match the arrows? Is this another matching game? Oh my god, what is it? I didn't even know it was trying to ask me. Oh, I, I thought it what? How would- Did I have like 10 milliseconds? What the fuck? I thought it was- I thought it was like a combo from the other game where you have to do it in succession. Okay. Good job, make sure you keep working at it though. Swear to dodge attacks and use that opportunity to unleash, unleash a br brutal flurry of punches. That's gonna be your golden combo. Now give, in, give me a sway and a flurry in combination. Good work, you're in incredible shape. I hope you can do this in your matches too. Eh, we could see, possibly. Yeah, I'm not sure how that gives me charm, but whatever. Seems a little bit strange. Seems a little bit sussy. I'm not going to need any of those uh, game books, by the way. Kappa, I'm definitely going to need them. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures, but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this! Let us end this chaos! Through my hands and yours! He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Hmm, where have we seen this before? Where have we seen this type of politicking before? When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, 
The groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Uh, yes there is. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. How can you be so... How can you be so naive? I mean, if somebody has a palace, then their heart should probably be changed anyway. Unfortunately, just to be... That's not the case. Just to be blunt. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! You're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be wait a second, wait a second. What do you guys think about what Yusuke just said? He said, even though you're into justice, you don't mind getting your hands dirty? Does that mean people who are just can't do things that are dirty? I don't, th I don't think that's true, right? I think that's very naive. Be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto. What's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge, and extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? 
It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Hmm? <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Ooh, slowly setting the truth. Nice, nice. All right. Very nice. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something. Eh, we're getting there. Do. We're getting there. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. Nice. Nice. Let's actually, let's look at the story thing. I've, I've never What's looked at it. favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Well, like her history with men. You're phantom thieves! Ahem. <clears throat> also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Whoa, wonder what this scene could be with this, like, blur over it. 
Whatever, man. Whatever. Go into Say's Palace. That's fun, because I love Say's Palace. has amazing music, amazing visuals. Just all around, it's really good. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence. A vote of no confidence? When's the last time we've had one of those? In America. Is that something you can even do in America? Where are we meeting today? Oh right, we were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Why is it catching on this call? Whatever. Government Office District. Kasumi Gaseki. Indeed. Oh, I've heard of that place. Me neither. It's not somewhere people usually go. Just looking at the map is impressive. Police Department, Ministry of Justice. Actually, I visited the Dai Building a few times. Yeah, uh, we, we went to the Dai Building for school. It was, um, you know, it was fine. Just government building, I guess. It's a very, it feels very sterile, like the whole district, because there's so many government buildings. Feels like, feels, I don't know, just feels, eh. Feels very different from the rest of Tokyo. The only one that kind of comes close is like Chiyoda, I guess, with the palace. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? You're so lucky. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? You know it'd be cool if they had a stock market palace in Persona 6? If, if they do decide to go with the palace route? It must be a casino. Casino. I definitely see Sai-san in you. Well, that's depressing, considering she's a bit of a psycho. Well, it's time we head in then. Yep, get ready for the best palace. Well, not the best palace, but probably, probably the second best palace in the game. It's nice because the one after this sucks. It doesn't suck, but I'm just not a big fan of it personally. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? 
We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Whoa, 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 where's the music? The courthouse it's like the best seal. part, where's the music? Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I brought her food and belongings when she was... We got Oops. No I was gonna say something. I think, I think this game has a memory leak problem. Because as we've, like, gone deeper into the game, I feel like this... I feel like that kind of lag thing you see with the voices has been more prominent. With the cops, right? I'm not sure if anybody this else noticed that too when they play. I go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right, from here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Currency, eh? Now then. This is a business as usual. First, we need to find an infiltration route. Yep. Ooh, boy, this music, maybe. Look at these buildings. Kind of crazy. What is the map? Shall I join the vanguard? Yes. Uh, okay. So obviously, Do we're gonna have to catch you for this. Um, you can switch with some on. That settles it. Superb judgment, Joker. Actually, let's decide who we want on our team. I think we'll take let's take Haru, Akechi, and Makochan. This is you. I think this is usually who I take. Let me see Akechi's persona. Robin Hood, looking fucking sexy. Very gotchy. Megidola. So he he's pretty much like Naoto. He's got lots of curse skills. Lots of blessed skills, got some uh, almighty damage. So he's got um he's got quite the good stuff. Quite the repertoire. Wait. I don't I don't even see anybody that way. Okay, fine. Do 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 Look at all this trash! What the fuck? Pick up your trash woman. Whims of fates. This is the palace from the intro, by the way. Probably obvious, but Okay. Just in case you forgot, it was 70 hours ago. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No, this is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Considering what I see before me, it 
it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? I'm glad to see you remember. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. My, 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 my apologies. <laughs> Silly Akechi. You feel somewhat nervous. You feel somewhat nervous, eh? Uh, okay, let's do... Okay, a little bit of a spoiler, but we're not going to be able to do this in one day, so... I'm not going to bother using my treasure demon detector. Or whatever it is, treasure trap. Yep, treasure trap, not going to use that right now. Music is so good, though. So, so good. Also, Sa also Sae is probably the hottest chick in the game. Like, Asaya is kind of like one of those, like, just, like, kill, marry, fuck, or whatever it is. She is definitely fuck. <laughs> it sounds very, it sounds rather crude, I realize, but... I would say, I'd say, ooh, tough one. Kiss? Kiss? Um... Kiss Sumi. Kiss Kasumi. Marry Makochan. Or, marry Makoto, and, and, uh, fuck Asaya. That's probably, I think that's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It's kind of like Persona 4. Persona 4 is like, kiss? Welcome. Come on out, you petty thieves. Actually, let, let me think about that one some more. She can see us? You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Yeah, we gotta go see... Look at that outfit, goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Let us get after her, Joker. It's somewhere. I found a chest. What do you want to do, Joker? Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak! Just give me it straight! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! 
No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you after all. Who knows? I would estimate that you all won't even have to step in and help, though. Do, do. Well then, let us begin. God damn. God damn, he looks sexy without the mask on. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood. Fair enough, Kikachi. Fair enough, my friends. Robin Hood. Uh, that didn't actually do that much damage, so. I think you may have been lying there, my friends. Actually, let's use Magatsu Isanagi. Yeah, let's use Magatsu Isanagi. Why is he resisting everything? What a bastard. What a fucking bastard. I kinda wanna... I wanna see if I can... Is he weak to bless? Or is he weak to curse? Where are you, Magatsu Izanagi? There you are. Why is that so quiet? Damn. Damn, I wish that was, wasn't so quiet. <laughs> we did all that just for him to block it. What a fucking failure. He's blocking everything, what the hell? It's not going so well. Why is this guy, like, literally fucking me over? What is going on? Holy shit, can't get a kill. This guy's a joke. <laughs> I've never struggled this hard, what the fuck? Christ! Couldn't get a fucking kill to save my life. What a bastard. What an absolute bastard. You're not so bad, I mean, he looked pretty shit to me. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let's deal with the shadows quickly. Doesn't it sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree, I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can, but now we have an infiltration route. Very well, I trust your experience and judgement. Yeah, so, I wasn't too worried about SP, because I knew we'd have to come back anyway. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We'll need to explain the steps that we take, though. This is- that is unnecessary. In doing so, the core of the rulers to sword desires will manifest. Manifest! And by taking that core, the chance of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines. It ain't as easy as it sounds. You sound a little bit uh, upset there, Ryuji. You sound a little bit upset. There's a mod where you can have Kasumi join you in Sai's palace in the next one. I was kind of tempted to install it. Yeah, I was I was actually pretty tempted. Just because like I feel like Kasumi isn't enough in the game. I mean, is it, she definitely isn't enough. Give it all you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she definitely isn't enough in the game, honestly, but... Okay. Yes, Steel Nijima's heart. Yes. Things are really soured. Yep. Um, greats. Yeah, that's greats. So people are turning on us even in his survey? Her popularity is really at an all-time low. Having low popularity is not necessarily a bad thing. Hey, hey! Not necessarily a bad thing. We still have an opportunity to turn the tide here. Oh. Let's. We should probably make some. Let's make some stuff. Oh, sh we haven't done shady commodities in so long. True. Let's buy everything. Yep. Good. Good news, Mr. Joker. You spent over fifty thousand yen. Excellent. 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 Oh. Let's, um, I guess we can keep playing this game, sure. Okay. Punch the Oh. But it's about to start. Graham Cracker Joe. He might be small, but don't underestimate him. Now then. Okay. Don't let him shake you up. Oh. That's like, they don't give you any fucking time for that. It's 
stay down, Joe. Stay down, motherfucker. Ooh, unfortunate, my friends. Unfortunate. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean? I beat him easily. I didn't beat him by a hair. We fucking decimated him. That shit wasn't even close. That was that was like easy. Nice. Not too bad. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Oh, it is Sunday. Okay, interesting. Uh, Shinya. Nope. Jeez. Don't think so. The time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change our hearts. That's right, Mako-chan. We, we uh, may all have our own unique way of doing things, but we should just pre proceed forward as usual. Leave it to me. I trust you. That's why I ask that you lend me your help. Hey. I got you. I got you, Mako. So It's all good. It's all good, my... my little friends. Okay. Okay, let's make a save, because it's obviously mission starts. I'll just add this. Make a save right here, and then we'll probably just go into the palace. Because going- doing stuff on Halloween... The only thing you can do on Halloween is, um... Oh, Haru. Interesting. Well, that is quite tempting, actually. That is quite tempting. Yeah, anyway, the only thing you can do with- on Halloween is, um, see some stuff over here. I can feel Nothing it. really that crazy, though, so... We don't need to go do Saya's Palace this second. What shall we do? So affinity reading. Mrs. Takemi. Miss Takemi-san. Look at that guy with the... Look at these costumes. These costumes are funny. Excellent. What do you think? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, okay. Wait up, wait, are you- can I hang out with you now? Still can't hang out with you, interesting. I think we'll do Haru today and maybe a Ketchy at night time too. Because I think- I think because we have him unlocked, we may be able to have a certain conversation with him. Look at this- look at this pumpkin head. It's actually pretty funny. I would- I would honestly wear this pumpkin head. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty... not too shabby. Okay, let's go see Haru. I think, um, Haru's like on the rooftop or something, right? Actually, do you want to go to Chinatown, Mako-chan? Let's hang out. That's exactly right. Can I take her anywhere? Can I take her to... I, okay, I can finally take her to Chinatown, nice. Motomachi, huh? This is- I think this is like the first time I've been to Chinatown in a very long time. Very, very long time. Are we going the right way? I think- I feel like we're gonna get lost. Pass through blue gates, so I suppose we're in Chinatown now, right? There was something I wanted to try here, what was it? Um. Pork buns, sesame dumplings? No, that's not it. Sorry, it's completely slipped my mind. It has shrimp and cabbage inside. Uh, it sounds like egg rolls or spring rolls. Ah, that's it! I know I can get them in Tokyo, but I might as well have an authentic Chinese one here. Is something the matter? Uh, it's not Chinese. It's true, it's not. Oh, yes! Silly Mako-chan. Someone doesn't do too well in geography. Aw, shoe my cushion. I think yeah, I think you can put this on your the couch. I feel she'd be delighted to receive something relevant to her. What's that relevant mean? Uh traditional lady? She's kinda traditional, isn't she? She kind of is. Busy busy business person? I think is she I don't know, I kind of want to look this up. 
I'm gonna look this up just because I'm a simp. 15 best gifts you can give to a Makoto. Black mug? Fountain pen, all purpose. Oh, she likes the vitamins. Nice. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll give her the vitamins then. Got you some vitamins. Thank you. Of course. Excuse me. Of course, of course. Um, hopefully Akechi hangs out with us today. Look at that! That guy was dressed up in a Jack Frost costume, you see that? Yo, Akechi. What is it? Got any idea who the true culprit may be? Oh yeah, you said you saw a mask guy, right? If this so-called true culprit is acting alone, then there can be no mistake about it. The next question is, who is that masked man? You're useless. What makes you think it's a... What makes you think it's a, a, a guy? It may sound somewhat odd for me to say this, but I am an exceptional detective. He doesn't have any clues. But he's confident enough to say he can definitely catch the guy. No wonder he's a star detective. Even the way he talks about these things is different from us. Yeah, not necessarily a good thing. Eh, yeah, whatever. And he doesn't want to hang out with me today either. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And neither does EY. Fuck. Fuck me, man. Uh, can we take Akechi to the darts? Oh! Let's do darts with Akechi. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good. That's a good idea. Welcome. What do you play? Because uh, we can play. What do you want to do? We can play with a very special. Yeah, there he is. A catchy. Thank you. It's actually good because we can get him leveled up before. Yes. We can get him leveled up before the thingy, whatever. Before we go into the palace. Hey. Hmm. Yes. I'm all. I'm all prepared on my ends. Let's play 701. Yeah, 701 is uh, quite the fun wow. one. It's uh, I like how he's wearing an Argyle sweater, by the way. Very, very fancy. Okay, I'll show you what I can do, a Ketchikin. Whoa, 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 why's that thing so crazy? Hmm. Fuck me, why does it speed up so much there? Yep. Okay, that was pretty pathetic. Why does it speed up so much? I feel like cause it's like I'm nervous or something, because it's a catchy. All right. Okay, come on, man. Get I'll your shit going. Get your shit going, boy. Um, bullseye. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, low ton or high ton. What is that again? Three in the black. Oh, he actually did get three in the black. Oh, nice. Impressive, my little friends. <laughs> Okay, I have, to, I have to make up for this now. I have to get a- let me get my triple 60, don't mind me. It's kind of- it feels- feels like kind of bouncy. I see. I did- I did use the- I used a new dart set, right? Yes. Oh yeah, baby, 1080. I- I did use the new dart set, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Speaking of which, so this will be my final rounds. I'll give it a try. Do your best to catch you, Kun. Set it up for me, buddy. Don't go for the fifties, or go for go for the triple sixty. Does he does he get the bullseye every time? Probably does. Oh, it wasn't three in the black. Low ton though. Or hat trick. Hat trick's pretty good. So I need to get um two triples and then. I need to get two best? triples and a one. That shouldn't be so bad. Okay, come on, come on. Ooh, Whoa. fuck. That was not, that was not quite easy. That was not very easy, I have to say. Low ton though, it's nice. Darts Virtuoso. This is amazing. That's a finish of zero points. I see. Excellent. <laughs> Mona? Uh, what are you level? Oh, okay, sure. Why not? 501? You wanna play 501? Wanna no. play some pussy-ass shit, Mona? Wait, how does Mona... Okay. 
Wait a second, how does Mona throw the darts? <laughs> I was kind of I was kind of thinking about that. How exactly does he How exactly does he throw the darts? Good question. Look how much easier this is. It's it is easier in this game than 701. It has to be. It's not, it's not my imagination either. Okay, let's see. What is he doing? What? Triple 20, I mean, that's not bad. What? How does he... Yes. I'm still confused. How does he do it? It's all yours. Does he, like, jump in the air or something on his hind legs? He must, he must use his hind legs. Why do I not get the Okay, Mona, finish it out for us. This is where I come in. Oh, I, we have a chance to finish it. Here it goes. Uh, your hair's standing on ends. I don't think he's gonna like either of those. You'll have my thanks. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he's gonna like either of those. Damn, son. Okay. I see you, Mona. I, th I think if Mona was at level 1, that would probably would have given us level 3. Because uh, I think if you tell your teammate the right thing, it gives you an extra level. Nice. Not bad. This is good. Not too shabby. That was rather exciting. That was rather exciting. <laughs> what is he... Can you can you imagine what Akechi says if you make him play 301? Just be like, hey, Akechi san, you wanna play some 301? <laughs> Fucking so pathetic. Good morning. My sister is serious. Her determination to win this fight is reflected in that casino. She won't be easy to beat. I know that better than anyone. I want to understand our situation as soon as possible. Let's go to the palace today. It's okay, Mako-chan. Relax. Sorry. Perhaps I am getting a bit too high strung. Don't you want to enjoy I Halloween? Bear seeing my sister. Come like on, do a little trick or treat. We'll stop her, no matter what. If you're going by any chance, let me know. I'll make sure I'm ready at a moment's notice. Okay. Oh, we got some free time. Nice. I think I, I think you can miss this free time if you're not careful. Uh, let's make let's read. Um, I need to get my guts up still. Do you have any guts? We have no guts, really. Uh, okay. I guess I could do. Uh, this one should already be done. Okay, good. Let's read game secrets. Cause I feel like being a cheater. I feel like being a little cheater right. beater. Okay, cool. Relax, what the fuck? 20 days left and you're freaking out? Relax. Calm yourself, my goots. My gootsin. Okay, so before we go into Memento, so before we go into the palace... Look at it! Happy Halloween! It is Halloween after all. It is Halloween after all. Halloween is such a, such a base holiday. Just, it's just so good. It's like, everything about it is so good. What do you think? Okay, good. Um, also, I want another reading. We're gonna get a reading for money, because, um, yeah. We're gonna go into the palace today, obviously, so... Makes sense to do so. Here we go. Okay, cool. Let's uh, head in now. Let's go. Okay. Go into my favorite palace. Oh. Oh, Mako-chan. I didn't realize we take the same train. Haru, what a coincidence. I was just thinking of you. Oh, were you? Yep. How should I put this? Our battles from this point forward are only going to get tougher, right? So, 
I've been reflecting on our approaches to combat in the hopes of finding some new tactics. In the end, I came up with something. But I realized I'll need your help with it. Me? Sure. If I can be of any help, I'd love to work with you on this. I appreciate it. So, what I'm thinking is... Mako-chan? <laughs> now that I think about it, this is probably going to sound rather absurd. Don't worry. If it's your idea, Mako-chan, I'm sure it'll be great. I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, ready to hear it? Huh? So, any thoughts? What a great idea! I'd be honored to help! Oh, thank you! Well, I hope it works out. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to me! But wow, Mako-chan, you come up with some pretty bold moves sometimes. I really look up to you for that. Do you? I'm not sure how that makes me feel, but <laughs> thank you. The star will grant us our wish if it's based on such a great plan. I'm positive. So, this is the location you've been using as a hideout. Okay, that's enough of that yakking. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. Next time, we'll go into Saya's Palace and continue our excursions. Probably going to be two or three videos in Saya's Palace, if I had to guess, so... If you like combat, there's going to be plenty of that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and catch you on the flip.